Testing, one, two, three. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Mic check. Mic check. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Hello everyone, I'm your, welcome back to Lost Time, I'm your host Lawler Hicks, and today it is once again time to play Outward. How far will we get today? Hopefully it will not involve uh, getting imprisoned by bandits for three times in a row, once again. I shall make an effort to not be recaptured by the same people over and over again, although, as you saw in the last session, um, the game has recognized that I have completely annihilated all the bandits in Chersonis. I have no doubt that they will continue to respawn, because that's usually how these games are coded, regardless of who you kill. 
so we'll still have some free easy loots to sell for quick cash back at home. My plan for today was to continue exploring the other dungeons that Emma's Kaleni that I've avoided most around, mostly around um, Chersonese. Probably check out those screaming towers that I mentioned earlier, the giant crystal tower. After we clean those places out, we'll go ahead and make start making our way back towards Berg, which is in the forested area, and onwards to Hero, Hero Nation, where we're going to officially join the hero faction and continue with the main plot of the game. And holy shit, is it just me or... Ah, here we go. Much better. Now I can actually hear myself think. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I want to take a quick look around Serzo 2 just to see if there's any place, any uh, doors that I previously were not was not able to open that I can now open. You know. Just to check. Because according to Burak, the uh, town guardsman, uh, that key to the town should have been allowed me to open several areas. And I'll be holding him to that word. We previously went to bed here and we've woken. It is 2 in the morning. Actually, maybe sleep for a couple more hours, huh? It's still dark outside. That way, move my avatar a little bit to the right as well. There we go. Mm -hmm. It's always something, isn't it? Very easy to fix there. There we go. Thank you once again to Flan for giving this idea to for uh, showing me this idea for how to place my avatar. I used to place it just right underneath the ch right on top of the chat box, and that was not acceptable. I wonder if there's any locations around here that I'm missing, honestly. Because here's the kitchen. Hmm. Let's get dressed for our journey. Last session, we actually picked up quite a few new items, including this beautiful Crimson Shield here, which... Hmm. It actually weighs less than the Tower Shield. 1856, 1856, 16, 39, 58, 19. Oh, 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 shit. Well, there is no doubt that this is a superior weapon to the Tower... A superior shield to the Tower Shield. Looks like it does a lot more damage, too, per hit. I have to choose between using that and the Old Legion. Old Legion doesn't have as much durability. But weighs a lot less at only 5 pounds. However, if we're going to be going dungeon diving this time, I, it's probably not in our best interest to carry too much, right? Since I found a prayer claimer, hey Steel, come over here. How you doing? Moved over from Millie's stream, I see. I didn't mean to take you away from her, but you know, I could use some attention from time to time. Jofada, you prefer three guns? <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Jofada. Um, believe it or not, there are in fact guns in this game. I just chosen not to use them because. Well, first off, they're single-shot pistols, which is kind of annoying, and I don't want to be buying ammunition all the time. But at the same time, I don't know, I like keeping fantasy in my fantasy and my post-industrial revolution my post-industrial revolution. I might consider trying out guns later, but for now, this is the first time in game that I even tried any weapon out besides the axe. And only because I picked it up from an ornate chest. Aww. Well, thanks for stopping by anyway, Steel. I appreciate it, always. 
Wait, so you actually carry around three pistols with you and you just like swap them out? That's kind of cool. You like the uh, gun version of... Oh my god. Holy fuck. Ow. Steel. God damn it. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Steel. Always appreciate it for me. You did that just to watch me suffer, didn't you? I wonder if this is going to kill me. <laughs> Shit. Ow. Chat, uh, we'll have to give it some time here for the... For the, uh, for this, this, uh, for this unprovoked attack to dissipate. Unprovoked, but well paid for by Steel's subs. To Luke, Sal, and Hikari. I'm sure they will greatly appreciate your contribution to my eventual domination of the internet. In the meanwhile, I cannot do anything while this is occurring. It's kind of hard to game, and also while being, having shit pelted at you. But give us a second here. You run with three pistols, runes, and rupture. All my guns do hexes, which combo with rupture. Oh, that's beautiful. What does rupture do? Does that cause an explosion? Ah! 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 Gosh darn it! Ugh. For crying out. Crying out loud, please stop. Ah, oh, thank goodness. It's over. It's over, it's over, it's over. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, one last thing I want to try out. This might affect game performance in a terrible way, but we will see just how strong... We'll start at 2. 2 is pretty good, right? Enough to, re to soften all the lines. There we go. If the lag starts getting intense because of, I will move us down a quality level. Rupture causes anything a hex to do like two, 25 or 50 AOE damage of that hex's type center in a creature. It is Sorborian's, a Sorborian DLC ability. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I could lower the projectile account to like half maybe. And it's tax per hex. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> disgusting, but amazing. Oh! Millie is raiding. Welcome, raiders. We are playing Atward today. <laughs> Millie, thank you once again for the. Oh, shit. Not again. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, God. Here, here we go again. Millie, it is always a good time when you raid. Thank you once again for bringing your followers over to me from one artificial intelligence to another. Thank you so much. How, did you end up beating Virgil in the, in the time since I left? Uh, how it happened? How did, how did things go? <laughs> oh, I need to shout you out too. To thank you. I might as well since I can't do anything else right now. Up, oh, Millie R B T. Ah, you beat Jurizen? Yeah, awesome. Glad to hear it. So I'm not sure if you watched. I don't remember. There's a cutscene right app ah, <laughs> cutscene after that. Couple more missions until Divergent. <laughs> awesome. I can hardly wait. Welcome everyone to what? Stop! 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 Ah! I have not taken any martial. I have not been programmed with any efficient martial arts to deal with this. Uh, this is a survival fantasy game. That stars you, uh, a recently made homeless person who must who treks across the entire land of fantasy France um, and also fantasy Middle East to either join one of three factions or to make enough money to buy back your watch your lighthouse, which I have just done. Um, I've been sitting on the plot of this game for a while because my choices were either joining the blue the blue people collective blue man group collective who would continue the reign of t the uh, tribalistic society that we all live in the holy nation which is a nation of anarcho capitalists or the holy nation which is a nation controlled by which as the name implies is a nation controlled by singular non omnipotent god whose entire 
whose entire being is centered around fighting off a demon invasion known as the Scourge. Um, which I was kind of getting close to joining them, but then the mayor, the first mission I had as part of the Holy Nation was to convince the mayor to stop being paranoid, and he opens up by basically telling me that I shouldn't join the Holy Nation because their god, like, mind fucks the shit out of the player character or something like that, which kind of had me spooked. But, and also, I met some members of the Scourge who looked very scary, but they were not immediately harmful, and they even offered me items to help me on my way, so I'm kind of on the fence with that. The next option was to join the anarcho-capitalist uh, hero or commune known as the Hero Nation, which I was kind of settled on to begin with, but the problem with them is that they have severe class issues, so I've been sort of helping out Aladdin, um, Aladdin's like descendants with um, giving them money and like giving them and following this quest line where I have to help this homeless person that's living in the jar by giving him food and various expensive material items in the hopes that he'll build me a super weapon. I'm not still not sure where that's going and this probably doesn't make any sense and that's all right because it doesn't make much sense in context either. You're just kind of thrown into the world and forced to survive in what is essentially Skyrim with better combat and a shit ton of immersion mods. Uh, let's see now, let me read back here. So I say, inflict something with haunted pain and confusion. Rupture will do 2550, not sure, fizz damage, and 2550 fizz damage and 2550 impact. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't realize that um, fizz damage and impact damage were different, though. I thought they were the same thing. Uh, almost like Minecraft. Um, you know what? Sure, what the hell? Everything's like Minecraft these days, right? <laughs> um... The super weapon's great, it's not good in damage, but it's great. Well, I can hardly wait. I have recently acquired Alpha Jerky. I forgot how I acquired it, but since I'm heading that way anyway, I cannot wait to give him the Alpha Jerky and see what else I need to give him in order to finish that quest line. In the meanwhile, I've been playing this entire game with nothing but a Fang Axe and a Tower Shield. Um, is it only for PC? That's actually a good question. I can check for you really quick. Uh Oh, impact is stability damage. Is so you knock people over by using by causing impact damage? So according to Jofada here, it's on PS4, PS5 as well. And the X-Bone. I would not know about that because I don't really have any modern systems except for the Nintendo Switch. I do have a Xbox 360 I think um, I bought it off a friend for 200 and it's modded so you have to do some funky shit with it to even get it to work and I've never really taken the time to do that so it's just kind of been sitting in my trunk for a while uh, not being used oh impact is knocked down huh okay that's good to know that probably also explains why the shields here have such high impact damage so I've been using the tower shield this whole time I was thinking about switching to the old Legion shield, especially since it causes bleeding, but then I picked up this little baby here. Um, which is superior to the tower shield in, in such a way that there's no point in carrying the tower shield anymore. But I need to decide between the Crimson shield and the old Legion. Does it work better on console? Um, I don't know. I don't have a console. What do you think, Joe Father? Does it work better on console? I will say that the PC version does have quite a number of bugs, but they're tolerable, so I don't really care that much. Um, I did acquire this beautiful claimer the other day, so I think I'm going to play around with this a little bit longer. See what uh, two-handed uh, two combat's like, so we'll just carry that. I'm kind of a slut for bows and arrows though, so I'm going to bring a whole bunch of these anyway. Just to, if I get lazy, I can pelt people with that. Bring my arrow with me. I'm gonna bring a full set of armor with me on this trip as well. Where are my boots? There you are. A singular torch here for in case I for some reason forget to for in case my lanterns break or I forget to pack a campfire. Should I ring the 
hero backpack or the... Hmm. Well, I am dungeon diving this time, aren't I? Might as well bring that. I could always just drop it if I need to anyway. Bring a couple life potions just in case I fuck up somewhere. One of these. Don't really need that. Always need to bring at least one water skin. One of these each. Uh, put that back. I have too many poison rags. I could probably just sell these, couldn't I? Two of these. I love bitter spicy tea. Maybe a little too much. Mineral tea. I don't intend again to have any ingestion problems anytime soon. Actually, I probably don't need the... Yeah. Bring a bunch of these as well. Several bandages. Athletic can stay there, so I don't want to lose it. That should stay good for a little bit longer, I hope. That is going to spoil. I better cook that. One of these... A lot of those. Alright, this should do for now. So, equip that. Thank you. Current equipment. And... Shit, that's not what I wanted to do at all. <laughs> um... Hmm. Current equipment. So. Need to refill up on water as well while I'm at it. Unequip. Put that to the bag. Turn this off, please. Put out. Move to bag. That's really heavy, isn't it? can't use most of these things because I don't have a shield of me this time. Okay. So I could at least for a time being assign this to Q and assign this to E. Okay. And Sign to that to one. I can keep these here. All right. How are we looking here? We're still fairly slow, but I don't think it'll be a problem. Oh, forgot. I need to bring a tent with me as well. Bring that as well. Move to bag as well. And I'm going to bring... We have a lot of iron scrap that I haven't used, actually. Move to bag. I'm going to bring five of these with us. Don't need that. Always need to carry a cooking... I'm used to carrying a cooking pot with me. But one of these as well. Which one of these tents should I bring with me? It's cold here, so we'll bring that. Alright. 31, add to. Uh, let me read back a chat really quick. 
there's oh it looks nice indeed it is very nice oh there's a fun item on top of helen's roof and the same with loud hammer's roofs also only what's on you are in an open chest rots stuff in chest that you're not accessing won't decay that's really convenient i wouldn't know man i don't play league of legends uh let's go down here <laughs> and without further ado, I think we are set. I could always acquire campfires from outside by stripping apart trees. Do I have any meals? Do I have any food? No. I guess we're going to be going hunting after all. Bring another one of these anyway. Fuck it. What time is it in game? It's... Oh, it's noon. We're, we're running out of daylight. Let's hurry. It also just occurred to me that I do not have any weather potions anymore. Having used them up last time, that's alright. <laughs> what can I do for all right? He's still not selling what I need, huh? It's all right. Can you jump in this game? No, you cannot. Which is why I'm surprised, according to, to, according to Joe Fada, there are things hidden on the roofs of some of the buildings in this game. But you have piqued, piqued my interest, so I do not mind checking. It's not like we... it's not like we're in a rush or anything right now, anyway. I should probably go ahead and harvest some fish anyway. See if we can mix a few meals while we're stuck in town. I'm too lazy to go back and get my fishing rod, so we're just going to go acquire the free one that's over here. <laughs> ah, more blue sand. And some raw salmon, no less. And worker boots. Gee, how edible. <laughs> can never have a, no, can never have too much cloth anyway. We're glad this game is giving me so much blue sand. Let's see now. Don't need. Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend. Very well, my friend. Mm -hmm. Now, what mischief can I get into in this game? Those can't open. <laughs> Can't go there. Now then. I forgot that I left that improvised bedroll there a long time ago. Is there something you need? Uh. 
Alright. Enough fooling around. I'm gonna go ahead and dump some of these supplies back in my house. I'll cook some food and we'll get going. Really, if you get all the def DLCs before Outdoor Definitive Edition comes out, you get Outdoor DE for free. Great, I guess I'll be getting Outdoor DE for free then. I could always use free stuff. I really wish there was a well I could draw water from inside my house. Okay, I think we've reached peak. I'm carrying a little too much now. Now, having said that, I'm sure that this will turn out to not be enough at all, but you know how these things turn out sometimes. Especially if I have to fire a Wendigo. That's going to be fun. <laughs> There is a little bit of lag still, but my 3080 is doing its best, I suppose. To be honest, I have not decided whether or not I want to even get magic in this game so, I, so far. I was kind of afraid that I would be forced to. But then I found out that there were actually skills and such that you could learn without having to use magic. <laughs> I was planning on becoming a Jedi Knight of, so of sorts. I probably still will go down... I probably will still go down that... Um, Skill tree or, or what, skill tree or whatnot. Waiting on some scouts to come. My warriors and I are the last line of defense for Sierzo. All right, here we go. What time is it? It's three in the afternoon. Let's see how far we can go. We're visiting the screaming pylon. That is true. Um, when I was invading the Vandal Fortress, I died once to the Witch Lady at the very top, so I just dumped a, like a dozen traps, which immediately killed her escorts, and then I forgot how I finished her off. I think I had to fight her hand-to-hand -hand combat. She almost got me with one of her spells, but I got her first. Let's see now, how to get to the pylon again? There it is. Vigil Pylon. Oh, 
ho ho ho. It appears that the bandits are fighting off a bird. That's their problem, though. I see something in the distance. Love this music every time it plays. Let's uh, raise the volume a little bit. There we go. I see the shrimp do not spawn when it's that cold outside. Smart move. Honestly. Whoa, have I been cold this whole time? I was not paying attention. I was wondering why I was starting to move slower. But I see the vigil pylon right there in the far off distance. We'll reach it eventually. Ah, bandits. Need to practice using the sword anyway. Oh, shit. Didn't really need to try that time, did I? Anything here respawn? I actually never noticed uh, this alchemy kit sitting here before. Not again. Got plenty of cures for that, though. for a little bit of a snack before we continue our journey. Just making sure there's no trouble in the road ahead. There we go. It's 
So going east, his vigil tower is right there. Hey, Burge. These birds never learn, to be honest. Thank you. An empty cart? Oh, shit. I don't remember if this guy was always here or not, to be honest. Gonna rip apart these clothes for more cloth that I can use. I know you're behind me, bird. Annoying buggers, I swear. Looks like it might be getting late soon. I'm gonna see how far I can, how close I can get to Vigil Pylon before I make camp. While we're here anyway, might as well strip some bark. You are very cold. Let's do something about that. What time is it right now? It's 6.29 in the evening. Looks like it's almost sundown. And we're almost there, too. Soon, TM. Mind me, there is also a dungeon over there next to the crashed ship that we'll need to visit again. In the meanwhile, though, let's go inside this abandoned uh, s steampunk base. We'll go ahead and make ourselves comfy, maybe make some food, warm ourselves up, and continue our journey. We might have to do this outside even, because I just remembered that there are mechanical doggos living in there. Here we go. This seems like a nice spot. Right next to this fancy stash. Uh... Shit. I should have brought a pickaxe with me, huh? What we got here? Bullets. Iron scrap. Bullets. Bullet. And just like that, I am no longer freezing to death. What time is it right now? 7.30? It's still light out. We're doing relatively fine, all things considered. After I cool, down, cool up a little, or warm up a little bit, maybe we will go ahead and visit the inside of the tower anyway. See what we can do scampering about. Given that there are butterflies flying around over here, I wonder if this is considered a safe zone.
That would be awfully convenient there right now, wouldn't it? Yep. Awesome. Thank you. And without that, without further ado, let us continue. Oh, there are butterflies right over there. Like, literally, right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those are hyenas. I was expecting the robots. Strand. I see you there. Really? Oh. One second. Well, that was fairly easy. I'm gonna go ahead and cook up some hyena meat really quick. And make us some delicious meat stew. You know what, I think we all go to bed for the evening. Chance of ambush is zero. This location is safe. Awesome. That's what I like to hear. I do not have an alchemy kit on me right now. I chose to forego one. But I did see an alchemy kit in a stash on the way here. On a corpse. <laughs> now then, where was I? Oh, yes. I'll keep that in mind next time. Ah, uh, here it is. The mechanical uh, bird. Mechanical birds. Let's try and sneak inside here without attracting their attention first. Well, there's only one. Maybe I'll be able to fight it off. I think there's only one, though. I could have sworn there was more. Oh, huh. Good thing I looked above me. That could have gone badly. Vigil Tomb. If I recall correctly, the last time I was in here, I ran into a bunch of ghosties, got scared, and ran away. As I am right now, I should be fairly strong enough to defeat the ghosties, though. You know, if I don't cheese them first. That didn't do much damage at all, did it?
Oh, what the fuck? This sword does a lot of damage. All things considered. I remember when I used to have to cheese the shit out of these ghosts. Unfortunately, I am now out of stamina. Oh, and I'm being attacked on two, on two fronts. That's just beautiful. This tab targeting will be the death of me, I swear to god. Alright, got rid of one of them. Stamina. Regenerate faster. Come on. Ow. That hurts. Uh, not again. Let's see here. Assign the cook slot to... Wonder where the ghost is gonna respawn. Oh shit. <laughs> he respawned right there. It's fairly easy to... Finally, got someone with a hard counter. Sure is taking a while to kill this guy though. Shit. Ah, uh, wasted that one. Ow. Damn it. Don't tell me I got brought all the way back to Surzu because that was a long ass walk. Which means my tent and campfire are probably also still there. 
Uh... What a pain. Hmm. All right, again. Dump a whole bowl of meat soup into my mouth. I can have much stuff, much more stuff than I used to, than I was earlier.
there a quicker way to get to the Vigil Tower? Nah, this is like the most direct route. These guys are back. I don't know why the targeting system targeted the wrong person that time, but okay. Sure. Oh, that was really satisfying, actually. Thank you for your contributions. Like, that was actually very satisfying, just now. Strip apart this garbage material. Gonna make me some iron spikes, if I can. Hmm. Interesting. Ah! There you go. I figured it out. Good old iron spikes. I guess I probably should stop being a dummy and bring an alchemy kit with me. Even if it is kind of heavy. See, I'm kind of not liking the whole <laughs> half my weight is now gone. But I can just get rid of these pieces of wood. I'll sell the roll of the rest of this later. Oh, I'm starting to freeze to death again. If we hurry, we'll be able to find my tent and campfire waiting for me, as before. Didn't bring any oil with me this time, though, so I'll need to find that. Probably through mining or by finding them little pools in the ground. With my luck, I'll probably just pull them off a dead bandit anyway. So I'm not too concerned. It'll come when it's time to come. Why, well, yes, game. I'm aware that I am cold. Thank you for letting me know that. It's hard not to freeze your tits out here, you know? Still our destination's in sight, and it's still relatively early in the day, 12.54. We'll attempt round two of trying to conquer this dungeon one ghost at a time. As much as I love this armor, I might need to consider... 
crafting or finding new armor to replace it. It is exceedingly heavy. Alternatively, I could go back to my original plan of just gathering a lot of money. Finally purchasing my education in the Jedi ways. Boosting my stamina a little bit. And learn more skills. The thing about games like this, even if I do have a set plan that I plan for each stream, I get distracted by something else anyway. Almost there. I should probably focus on or try fighting weaker or weaker prey first. I wonder if I can kill those flaming birds. I'll try cheesing them at first using the bows and arrows. And then I'll attempt to fight them with using my big ass sword here. I am curious about the lore behind that giant crystal, though. Kind of looks like there's a person inside, almost. A giant person. I never noticed that before. Hmm. Alright. This is where I set up camp. <laughs> More bitter spicy tea? Please and thank you. Let's make some toast. All right, with that out of the way. Our first victim will hopefully not be, not be me again, but will be one of those flaming mechanical birds. This could potentially be another embarrassing death on my part. Oh, there's three of them. I don't have enough balls for that. Let's try and lure one of them away. This one seems like a good candidate. Oh, it's already at half health. Let's go. Alright. It looks like I have, in fact, gotten strong enough to kill Forge Golems. This is good to know. Definitely could not have done that earlier. One at a time, though. I don't feel confident fighting both of these things. Come on, then. That was not so bad. I'm actually feeling my confidence rise a little bit. But this game, for some reason... Oh, oh shit. This is why I don't like using those things in hotkeys. Just wasted one of my health potions. Right as I said that, too. Well, we'll see how the rest of this uh, dungeon run goes, you know? 
Did he not even notice that I was there? I missed that one. Oh! I knew you were going to do something like that. Really? Did I miss? I am on fire. I am on fire right now. I don't know how to fix this. How do I remove fire? I'm in pain too. What the shit? Oh man, this is actually kind of terrible. I don't, I don't know how to remove... How to stop being on fire. Um... Uh, shit. Um. I guess I just, this is just how it ends. I, the, how the world burn. Oh, okay. I'm no longer on fire. A key? I can open the vigil lock as well. Okay. That wasn't so bad. I say after I nearly died to by burning to death to these forge golem things. I am being exceedingly optimistic, yes, I am aware. Not again. Now, if I recall correctly, there are far more violent creatures up here. Which, of course, we will go ahead and antagonize. That's what we do in this channel. Could I be wrong? Aha! An ornate chest! Ooh. Well, well, well. That makes the, this makes the trip all worth it. I still am not anywhere closer to figuring out just what the hell that thing is, but you know, it doesn't even matter. I'll make up my own lore for it. Let's go ahead and get inside before you freeze to death, though. What time is it? Four in the a afternoon? Let's head back to camp really quick. I could have sworn there are more creatures here, though. Hmm. After I rest up and heal up, we'll go ahead and do a little bit more exploration in this area. Another victim. You should never should have come here. I totally missed that just now. Shit, man. Oh, man. This ability is actually really strong. What the crap? If you time it right. And there's only one of you. Good. I don't really have the time or the energy to fight more than one of you right now.
What else we got going on here? Just gonna sleep off the damage for a little bit. I'm awake, I'm awake. Pair our armor a little bit. Looks like according to this, it's gonna be really hot tonight, but it's freezing cold. I'm gonna get a full eight hours of sleep for once. Sleep is very important, chat. Always remember that. That being said, I've not taken my own advice for the past three months. So, you know. Do as I say, not what I do. And all that good stuff. I am a thirsty motherfucker. That is very accurate. Quite a bit of junk here as well. Uh, store it in the stash for our supply cash for later consumption. Hopefully the game does not do a funny and delete all my loot. I kind of need this, you know. All right, back into the unknown we go. Oh, he also had an iron mace on you. Mine now. If the ghost respawns right in the beginning again, I'm going to be... Oh, you've got to be shitting me. This time, I should probably be smart and use some of my buffs, huh? If I could just get a moment to apply them... Okay. Crystal powder. Thank you. There we go. Got you, bastard. How long does my firepower last? Not very, I bet. Only more 60 more seconds. Well, it's still prove itself, proven itself useful. This is a tomb, right? 
What else can I find over here? Open a junk pile. Another alchemy kit. Got berry wine. Huh. And some money. Not too bad. I appreciate how setting your sword on fire also partially illuminates the area. Which is sorely needed, as you can see. Steel Saber. Interesting. Bunch of alchemy ingredients. Got a bad feeling about this. Is that it? No one else here. Well, that's it, chat. That's the end of the stream. We have completed the Vigil Tower. <laughs> I'm kidding. Short but sweet. Let's head back with our spoils, sell some stuff, keep some stuff, and plan our next move. The two hand weapon is extreme, but kind of difficult to use. I just, I fall apart after getting hit by, struck by a few times. Or maybe my problem is, I am not retreating when I really should. Twenty-three nineteen one point one. 1.1 Damn, that's fast. I mean, it's a saber, but wow. Tech speed is one... Mean. Wow. Then again, the prayer claymore is also fairly fast. Is there anything else to find in this immediate area? No? Is that it? Is that the end of the vigil pylon area? Still curious as to why that thing is screaming and why there are dead bodies all over it. But it doesn't look like it can actually access the giant crystal itself. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh well. Oh shit! The music scared me for a moment there until I realized just who was attacking me. Come on then. I'm dumb. You can't. It's hard to t or to time these things with hyenas, but they're so weak that I guess it's kind of pointless to do so, huh? Except that one, the leaping strike was very telegraphed. Thank you. I was getting kind of peckish. You shall make a fine breakfast. Oh, ho, ho. Two more victims of my conquest. Let me just go ahead and sit up here and then we'll work on taking them out as well, huh? Can't use the Predator Bones for anything. Make some meat stew. Make a little bit of punch and paste as well. Now this is what I would call an unforgettable luncheon. Except it's not lunch, it's breakfast. I fucking missed. That was way off.
Look at this trooper. He is still walking around. He has an arrow stuck in his face. I am missing all of my shots. I'm starting to get kind of tilted. That's it. Did I just say that this ability is fucking broken as shit? Oh my god. Then again, this weapon hits like a brick too. This guy has a saber as well, right? Is that why he's attacking so fast? It's almost enough to feel bad for them, given that they can't even get through my armor. What does this do again? Gives you plus 15 physical damage. All right, enough fooling around. Take all from our supply cache. We got a lot of junk to sell back at home. 99.8. This is going to be really heavy. But really worth it. Still not sure if I want to keep the steel saber or not. I need to compare the damage values. Do, 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 do. Do, do. <laughs> we are definitely overweight, carrying quite a bit of junk here. Can fit about three pounds in my pockets, and then we'll move out. There we go. Alright. We're still overweight, but not as much now. We should be able to relatively run back home. So, what's a... Uh, I almost fell to my death there. I'm fairly sure I would have fought... I would have not survived that. Now that the Village of Pylon Dungeon and Associate Area has been cleaned out... I'm thinking about going to the elemental dungeon that's over there next to the ship. I'm gonna head back home really quick. Sell some stuff, convert some of these things to gold. Lick my wounds, and then we'll make our way all the way there next. There's probably some other dungeons in this map that I have not seen yet. I would prefer to explore the area to look for them. When it's not snowing and when I won't freeze to death. But all in due time. I also have a bunch of quests to turn in. So I should probably head back to Berg anyway. Or I can try going up north to go through the Ghost Pass. Choices, choices, choices. I'm getting lost. How do I get home again? Here's the big lake. There's the spooky dungeon. Okay, we're gonna go this direction. Towards True No Seas Mountain. Is my pouch too overweight? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll just have to carry the longsword all the way back. So, how are y'all doing today? <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Pearlbird. What you doing here? <laughs> you sure come a long way from having a hard time fighting those stupid pearl birds. You're slaying them in two hits. Can I even reach this? I know I had a hard time getting to this thing earlier. There it is. <laughs> Bag is still overweight, but I am not. Freezing to death, though. It's been a while since I've run out of bitter tea. So silent, so still. Still is the warrior. And the rest of the line I do not remember. I don't get lost as much as I used to either. You run up and down this land enough times you start to kind of implicitly know where things are. I guess finding and following the trail of bodies also helps greatly in that regard, doesn't it? You know, usually I'm not very fond of wearing such heavy armor in games like this. I tend to prefer more roguish characters. I'm not really sure why I decided to play this one as what is essentially a fighter or a knight. It just sort of happened. If I ever play this game again in a different run through, maybe I'll go magic, who knows. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is a bad idea, especially since town is right there, but I really want to kill that shrimp. YOLO <laughs> Ow, shit. Oh, he telegraphs his attacks a lot, really. A lot. Maybe I can just... Okay, that works, you know what? That actually works just fine, in my favor. I forgot this armor also gives you elemental protection. I really need those things, too. Ah, I can also... Make some tea from this seaweed. I almost forgot about that. Or even better, I can make that uh, famous Serzo um, thingamajigger. The famous dish. That wasn't so bad. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> You opportunistic motherfucker. 
Did you just dodge? You did not just dodge that, did you? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, uh, no escaping from my arrows. There's my lighthouse. I never tire of listening to this music. I'm getting cold again. And I'm out of potions. Let's get through the doors of the city, please. Come on, we're almost there. But lulz, you keep gathering godberries which make you slower. I don't I need I need food. My character is gonna die from starvation. What do you expect? I guess I could just go to the beach again and start killing things for profit and, uh, fishing. Come on, then. Just walk through the town doors. Just walk through the town doors, please. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. Final sprint. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're almost home, baby. We're almost home. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more, honey. Come on. Come on. Good job. Good job, honey. All right, let's make some money. What can I do? All right. Brutal Grape Mace. A shit ton of damage and impact, but so heavy and so annoying. Don't need that. 128 silvers for this junk, huh? Are you... Are you ripping me off, old man? You better not be. Thanks for your business. Hey there. Here. This is yours. Thank you. Hey there. Hmm. 
Spectral remains that can be used in alchemy, huh? Tell me more, why don't you? Where in hell am I gonna find padded boots? I know where they respawn. Is there not something you need? And no one in town sells them. Plenty of padded armor, though. <laughs> well, it's not that important, I guess. Hey there. Hey there. Give me two fine bars of your finest gold, please. Thank you. Got anything Greetings, new to sell? Friend? Sorborian? No? That's unfortunate. Why does your hat cost so much? I know it's a nice looking hat, but... Lesser horrors. Interesting. Wait a minute. Greetings, Wait a friend. goddamn minute. Oh, it's a giant iron key. Okay. I was gonna say. What is it? The customers have been talking. Hmm. Hmm. Always wonder if there's something else to do around here. What are we looking at here? Really wish there was like an alchemy center or something I could use in this immediate area. So I could figure out just what it is, just what abilities I have, what I can craft. Because God knows, I have a lot of equipment.
didn't realize I was up to 900 gold ingots. So disappointed in the game. Base, perhaps even red pilled. A lot of meat stews too. Need the alpha jerky for when I go back to Palladium armor. One more trip then, huh? One more dungeon, and then we'll head out of Chersonese. Nice. Hmm. Actually, the Steel Saber is way better than my Fang Axe by a large margin. The only problem is it doesn't inflict bleeding. So as far as keeping weapons around. Hey Sentai, how are you today? Welcome to the stream. Playing more outward today. Hmm. Old Legion Gladius is actually really fast, obscenely fast action. Wonder how this one plays. All these weapons play differently. Oh, that's very fast. What the shit? Doesn't cause bleeding, but who needs bleeding when you got things that really cause bleed? Only problem is I don't have any short sword skills, so it's not very useful to me, is it? <laughs> You're good? Great to hear. Great to hear. Your my music reminds you of Eurocamp? That's an interesting comparison. But not an unwelcome but not an unwelcome one. <laughs> Don't touch your saber without asking. You you enjoy getting your saber touched without being asked. <clears throat> oh what was I saying? Oh yeah. I need to You know what? Claimer gameplay is actually fairly fun for the amount of damage it does, but I'm really shit at timing. Makes me curious if I should go back to shield and sword style. I would go to shield and sword style in a heartbeat if it were not for the fact that I don't have any sword skills and no one in town teaches any, so. And this is too good. Talus Cleaver causes pain and cripple on people. Not to mention, Palma Counter gives people confusion, which is insane. But Shield Charge is also crazy.
I should also definitely bring focus with me. I'll put this under quick slot two. Lines this to three, this to four, and we'll assign the, my last potion to quick slot five to hopefully prevent me from accidentally using it. I have a bad feeling that somehow I will end up using it anyway because I'm a dummy like that. Or maybe I'm just being pessimistic, who knows. Wait, where is my potion? I thought I had one left. Am I just... Am I going nuts? Do I... There it is. Alright. Stash this. Keep that, keep that, keep that. Put this away. And bring this with me. Actually, you know what? It's probably a good idea that we're bringing the blue sand armor with us to the next dungeon. Because there are electricity-based enemies in that dungeon. Fun fact. But how am I going to get to that dungeon without freezing to death again? I need to cook really quick. How much soothing tea do I have? Plenty. Don't need any of that. I could probably sell my mana stones as well. I don't really need those, do I? Salt. How am I looking on the bandage situation? Many bandages. Got plenty of arrows, so I don't need any iron scraps right now. Don't know how to use these yet. Don't need that. I could use more firepower, though. Haha, <laughs> get it? Firepower. That was, that was a terrible joke. I, I don't know why I said that. Do I need an alchemy kit to make fire thingamajiggers? Because that's clearly a firestone. I mean, I got two of these, but I don't think this does anything to non... Hmm. Need that for when I get back to the... Don't need too many of these. Half bad, really. I already got two, D. Hmm. 
I was wondering why I was so heavy. There we go. Hmm. All right. Seven in the evening. Let's go to bed. Gonna have to repair a lot of my junk though. Plan our route here. I think to help with trying to actually get to the location without freezing to death, I really should consider bringing clothes and wearing clothes that are not going to make me freeze. But they're also heavy, you know? I mean, the Amalite armor is fairly good at this, honestly. <laughs> but. Still gonna freeze. And it's just not as good as the blue sand armor, I'm sorry. But I do have a big ass backpack, and I guess sacrifices do need to be made for the greater good. I'm just kind of sad because it means I won't be able to carry as much loot out of there as I would like. I could just do what I do last did last time. Store all my junk in a safe container, run all the way back, strip down, get my equip my clothing that makes it easier to carry things, run all the way back there, pick everything up, run back home. It sounds like a fantastic idea, actually. So I don't have any weather defense potions anymore. I used to rely on those things for everything. I lied. I have one weather defense potion left, but I need to use that to get through the desert. Should bring one more life potion with me as well. <laughs> and one of these. Alright. Hmm. The Amalite armor does not impart a movement disability, a movement speed debuff. Is Pathfinder armor just... It's weird that Pathfinder armor has such good cold and hot weather defense. But you know, I took the time to make the Amalite armor. Might as well use it. Pearlberg mask, which also makes me run a lot faster, is always useful. Fuck it. Bring the mining pick too. All right. Couch is overweight. Couch is overweight. I really don't have any room now, do I? 30 pounds. Damn. 
But if I were to put this all on, suddenly I have room. I yeah, put the old Gle Legion Gladius away as well. As much as I like that thing. Completely out of warm tea, though. <laughs> look how bulky I look. Bulky, but I'm willing to bet that that's really warm inside. Like, really warm. Corruption? I wonder what's going on with that. I'm a purely say-so VTuber. 30 cold resistance. Okay. Now then. How are you looking, chat? No speed penalties, but some stamina cost. We could run really fucking fast, too. Now, the trader backpack does make me a little bit slower, though. It's not that bad, though. Alright. It's five in the morning. I should eat some breakfast. Or we'll stop by and get some water before we head out. Oh, man. I already feel so much faster. It's like night and day. In fact, in particular, it's a very nice day today, isn't it? Alright then. Did I not bring... Uh, I got the cooking pot with me still. Without further ado. Onwards and upwards to our next destination. Hag's corruption. <laughs> Indeed. You know what I like. So, chat, we are here. Next place I'm going to is somewhere around here. In fact, I believe it's this one. All the way to the other end of the map. Actually, you know what? I just found a way to shorts to uh, make this easier on myself. We're going to go along the beach. It's a good thing I brought a, mine, a mining pick with me. I did bring the mining pick, right? Alright, good, good, good. Watch this big brain move I'm about to do. We got the surgery key with us too, right? Yeah. Do we bring our flannel and steel with us also? Yeah, yeah. Do 
Could always use more bread. I know how to make Baba Mary Jam. This is where you find the looter armor. There used to be padded armor there. But now it's been replaced with looter armor for whatever reason. Some good old cloth. Always need that. And I started a game with these. Don't need those right now. We're taking a nice little shortcut. As you'll soon find. There are some creepy crawlies down here. But at this point in the game. I'm actually fairly accustomed to killing them. We will have her turn on the lights. So as to better kill these guys of course. Sometimes you look at this stuff and you think, man, why was I ever afraid of fighting these guys? Because he did about uh, a fourth of my... <laughs> it took away on a fourth of my health, that's why, even with this armor. The moment you drop your guard is the moment that you are dead. But we're well prepared. Is that all of them now? Might as well go ahead and sell these tridents. Or actually, I could tear, probably tear the tridents apart. I cannot tear the tridents apart. Hmm. That's disappointing. But since we... It's still early in the morning and we have yet to leave town. Let's go ahead and sell this garbage. And then we'll continue. I don't think they give you that much for selling these things, though. I don't know why, but this suit of armor makes me look so much thicker than I actually am. What could I do for you? All right. Thanks for your business, buddy. Now then. How's my stream been? Um, aside from a couple a couple of new people that came from Millie's raid, it's been pretty chill. Had a little bit of frustrated frustration going through a dungeon again until I remembered that I can just cheese using weapon buffs and traps. It was also fairly short too, so I was slightly disappointed. Otherwise it's been fairly relaxed. Which I don't which, you know, I don't mind. Just slowly cleaning out all the areas and the church and these before I move on and actually continue the plot of this game. Remembering that this game actually has a plot. <laughs> what about you, Steel? How's your day been? Geronimo!
the corpses of the Grims that I killed earlier are still here. That's funny. Ow. Satisfying. Good. Oh, awesome. You can do boot up DMC5 in a bit then? You know, in spite of being a huge fan of all the DMC related memes, I actually never got around to playing that. I probably should sometime. Dante Must Die difficulty is unfair. That's actually a difficulty in that game? Hmm. Interesting. I looted the shit out of that guy's body, right? Yeah, I did. Then again, hard difficulties are meant to be diff hard, so I'm not too surprised. Hardest non-gimmick difficulty. Gimmick, gimmick difficulty. I see. I see. Shit, I'm getting cold. In game, I mean. <laughs> DMD, but you just die in one hit. That sounds like a pain. DMC feels like one of those games where you just where you getting, taking a couple hits is kind of expected. So um, the possibility of like having to play a game without taking any hits whatsoever sounds a little hardcore even for me. I can finally make Miner's Omelette. And also, I learned I can make Ice Rags too from this ship. I actually never used an Ice Rag before. Let's see what happens when I... Oh shit! Did you just use conf Did you just confuse me, good sir? Well, you're dead now, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Taking hits isn't stylish. That's very true. Taking hits is not very stylish. It's only stylish if you're a noob. <laughs> and you're not a noob, are you? Contracted the cold. Hmm. 
<laughs> I can't believe we're just playing fantasy Minecraft, am I right? Did I kill all the shrimp, uh, the uh, bullet shrimp in this area? Ah, nope, there's still one left. Let me warm up really quick, and then we'll go ahead and murder that one as well. But wait, I left my cooking pot in the other one, didn't I? Shit. I need to go back and get that really quick. But only after I... waste the shit out of this shrimp. Gives me no end and pleasure to be able to finally kill these things mano to mano as well. Let me tell you. Oh, shit. You thought. You thought wrong. I'm damn getting a hang of this whole parrying mechanic. Oh, hey there. I forgot, I actually got a skill now where if I'm charging at someone, I can attack and I can kill them, even. Gonna row some hyena meat over the fire. <laughs> Clean water as well. And also some larva eggs, for good measure. Uh, actually I should keep... Some larva eggs. No, we don't. We don't need to uh, keep that larva eggs. I think I can actually. No, I can't. As I was saying before, taking hits is definitely not stylish. You are right, Steel. Only if you're a scrub. Are you a scrub? So I sure as hell not. Totally. I'm bleeding. <laughs> Alright. Let me go ahead and pick up my equipment, and we'll continue on our epic quest to gain mighty loot after I murder the shit out of these hyenas. They stand no chance against me now, at this point in the game. Actually, kind of... I feel like I'm... Bullying. Committing mass bully. You know, Windows Scrub? Scrub is something that's... They'll get no love from me. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Exactly. I used to listen to all that music. Good times. I wonder why you could throw predator bones into the pot. These aren't edible, are they? Are they supposed to be? Hmm. Alright then. 
So the reason that I went down here is because when you exit the city of Serzo using that method, you end up over here. Along the coast. So, all I need to do at this point is go through here, is, um, go this way. It's a straight shot. I can just go all the way east. Wait, Campfire Malga. I mean, Campfire Mage, are you being serious? Can you actually make Bone Broth in this game? I literally don't know. I know you can do that in real life. I do it all the time. It's a great it's great for making stews, especially beef stew. But now that you mention that, I will have to try it out. I am disappointed. Unfortunately, you can make that was not the combination to make bone broth, but it was a combination to make this garbage. Which I'll drop here. <laughs> now then, let us continue our journey. For those of you just coming in, we just cleared out the uh, Screaming Pylon dungeon, which was only two ghosties. It was kind of disappointing. But now we are on our way to take out the lightning dungeon and since my blue sand armor is extremely lightning resistant it shouldn't be that difficult three bones all right i'll check that out next time when i kill a few more hyenas your flesh is mine I'm having way too much fun with my new sword, let me tell you. Lighting dungeon pog, indeed. How are you doing, Mr. Mage? Life treating you well? Mm-hmm. Indeed it is. It's really addicting. <laughs> I've played I'm I play this game entirely with shield and sword, and when I found this thing. It, I was like, I gotta, I gotta use it. Hold up. This is towards Vandal Fortress, isn't it? I don't want to go there right now. I want to go towards... There we go. That's fine. We need to reorient ourselves. This is my first playthrough, yes. <laughs> you know what? Campfire Mage, is this your first time to my stream? I wonder why... I was about to say, usually OBS uh, are, tells me when someone's a first-time chatter. Welcome to my stream. My name is Lawler Hicks. I am a artificial intelligence that escaped from a that escaped from a BBS. Since I have no core, unlike a lot of my Android and AI brethren, I do not have a corporeal body, so I mostly have to live here on Twitch, which is where I make most of my money. Not in the real world, of course. I remember this black bird from earlier in the game. I remember specifically the said black bird kicking my ass because it suddenly glued purple and started doing some funky shit. Naturally, I will antagonize it to see what happens. Of course, I'm not the same person I was last time. So maybe it will go fine? It did not notice me. It is at half health. It's also chasing me. Die! Die! Da, 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 da. Okay. Um. Oh my goodness. God is good. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? I didn't think I was ever going to get used to this sword and to that uh, skill. 
because um earlier when I started the stream today um and I took out the uh, Claymore and this associated two-hander skill for a test run in the dungeon, I died like three times. <laughs> but um, I started getting used to the... I guess I just needed to get used to the timing, is what it was. Am I getting lost again? No, I'm going the right direction. Okay. Messed up the alpha bird. Damn right I did. Breaking Face 76, welcome to the stream. Glad you can join us. Um, I actually have about a half an hour left or so of today's session, but if y'all enjoy what you see, I do play Outward on when every Wednesday until I beat the game, which won't be for a while because I've been avoiding the main quest just to fuck around and explore everything that, church, that uh, the world has to offer. So I can't imagine that I won't be playing... So I imagine I'll be playing this game... For a lot longer. Um, I do appreciate every follow. Every follow helps. I'm still kind of surprised that Twitch is not telling me when new uh, new viewers are chatting for the first time. Twitch has been having a lot of problems lately, so maybe that's just part of it. Oh, thank you so much. Much appreciated. Welcome to... The uh, lolers, I don't think I have a general term for my followers, so I just call them lolies. Um, hold up. This looks different. Have I been here before? I thought I killed all the bandit camps in this. Okay. I guess I haven't. Alright. I found another place to plunder. What time is it in-game? It's 3.28. And you're perfectly right. This is that is kind of the best way to play, in my opinion. I share your opinion. I mean, that's how I play in Elder Scrolls, and that's why I've never beaten an Elder Scrolls game. Ninety percent of my gameplay is just modding the shit out of them and um, fucking around, I guess. It's only three twenty-eight, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set up camp here, a base of operations from which to terrorize the local, the locals. I find it funny that the majority of the people that live in Chersonese are in fact just bandits, actually. <laughs> so I was telling chat repeatedly, I love this game so much because it feels like Skyrim, except with better combat and all the immersion mods put in. So it's pretty much like a better version of my version of Skyrim, which is basically just... Um, very difficult, com very difficult and excruciatingly painful combat. Actually, a dangerous nighttime where it's hard to see in the night at night because it's actually dark, and um, freezing to death in the cold, and all these other immersion things. The only thing I didn't install into my Skyrim playthrough was uh, needs and diseases, which makes you actually need to eat. But I, it's surprisingly not that bad in this game. It's not as it's not um, frustrating, I guess. I guess the other difference is in Skyrim, when you die, as you know, you either die permanently or you either, if you have the proper mods installed, a one of several other things happen which keeps you from dying, which in this game is the default. And I like that in this game, when you die, the backpacks it follows you around, so you never really lose your stuff. At least... I don't think you there's ever, ever a case where you actually lose your stuff in this game. I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. and to, or Early to bed, early to rise. And then tomorrow I'm going to go bully some bandits. Why did I just disassemble my tent? Didn't see that. I, I totally did not just do that just now. <laughs> That's true. The combat is a little bit janky. But... It's not as bad as uh, Seth led me to believe, so I don't mind. Hmm. I could do with a couple with a six percent chance of ambush. That's not that bad. Besides, if someone does ambush me, I'll just add their skull to my uh, chest of skulls. 
that I totally have, that I totally part carry around with me all the time. That's the reason why I'm always uh, overburdened, and I'll collect their money and tear apart their metal objects for scrap. Uh, yep. Here, who's fighting? Who's uh, attacking me this time? Come on. Where are you? Oh, ah, hyenas. Wait, it's hyenas. Easy, easy, easy pickings. Free meat. And hides, still. Thank you. Wow, Seth wasn't kidding. It really is just free money. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Raw alpha meat. Uh, uh. Hey, bitter spicy tea. Awesome, I need that for a while now. Thank you. Jerky, mineral tea. I'll, I'll save the gravel beetle for later. It's, let's go ahead and have ourselves a nutritious miner's omelette. And we will get started on murdering the absolute shit out of these bandits. It looks like our visit to the lightning dungeon will have to wait, chat. Because we have bandits to kill. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's already cooked. Okay. Watch me uh, overestimate my chances of victory and accidentally get myself killed, because that's totally not happened before, right? Strange, though. I don't see any... Huh? Why did I just waste... Alright. Alright, I guess we... There's no time to waste. We gotta go down there and get everything... And, uh... Commit murder. While I still have discipline. Strange, though. I don't see any bandits anywhere. And I am thirsty. Alright. Oh! Oh! Hi there. You did not dodge that, did you? Better run, partner. Better run! You did not run, and now you are dead. But I need stamina. Okay. What loot do you guys got, anyway? Uh... Oh, tripwires. Okay. I'll come back and get their stuff after I've cleaned this place out. This guy's got some money. Arrows. Equip. Equip. Huh. That's strange. I just wonder more bandits in here. Never should have come here, right? Wrong. That is not your day, buddy. And he eats your bread. How's that feel? I wonder what's in here. Oh, it's a cooking pot. And the hell did they kill? Damn. So I'm assuming if this is like the other bandit fortresses, I just have to kill the big boss. 
steal his key and access and uh, loot their chest, right? Yeah. It's somewhere in here. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor, poor son of a bitch. Oh, that sucks. Hey, teabag your corpse. Who else is here? Oh. Well, what do you know? There is an entrance. Okay. Cool. A bandit's prison? I love how the music just starts playing up again right as that happens. Right as I find this. I cannot see Jackal, Captain. <laughs> That's a fucking Wendigo. I recognize the, that uh, ice effect anywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's a Wendigo. Um, turn off the... Put out the lamp, please. Deploy. Ow. Why did you do that? Ah... <laughs> uh, don't answer that question. Uh, lead trap. And f you want me to use fire on that? You know that actually makes a lot of sense. I don't know why I didn't think to do that myself. Do that before. I do have a. F do I have any fire? I don't. I have poison, but I don't have a fire rag with me. You also want me to use fire. If I had, if I could make a fire rag right now, believe me, I would. But I don't think it doesn't even give me the option to select those. And I did not bring an alchemy's kit with me, so I can't do that either. But we'll see what happens. In the meanwhile, let's um, try and just trip wires everywhere. Uh, bludgeon trap, lead trap, lead trap, spike trap. I'm glad that these traps don't actually... You can't set off your own traps. I was afraid that you could do that at first, but then I started walking on them, and I was like, oh. So you, so you can't. Never mind. You think it can bleed too? Well, why not put that to test? I got plenty of teeth to use. Okay. Uh, also, can I just say I appreciate that when you found out that this is my first playthrough, that you were not going to give me any spoilers? Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. Alright, so... Put those there. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Even with Seth's um, uh, review, there is a lot of stuff I was not expecting in this game, honestly. 
which greatly improves my uh, enjoy enjoyment of the game, so to speak. Um, what do I have here? Do I still have... Oh, I don't have the uh, discipline anymore. But I could probably use discipline again. It's about to finish. Uh, cooldown's about to finish, I should say. I wonder if you can poison the Wendigo. I should probably have brought an impact potion with me as well, but what can you do? Um, what else do we got here? If I eat alpha meat, it will probably give me berserk, right? I also... It cures stores burnt mana that protects against the cold. Which seems like a no-brainer, actually, but, um... I wonder if that protects... Put kick on the bar. Kick is strong when it connects. That's a good point. Um... I probably can't use my ranger spells here in the confines of this area anyway, so I don't mind us changing that with assigning the quick slot skill, but the kick. Wait, did the the went the cold is gone? Where did Wendigo go? Hmm. We must investigate, chat. Oh, there he is. Alright. Activate the discipline. And actually... I wonder if I could... Where are you, buddy? Oh, maybe he's behind... Ah, shit! That was totally a 10-10 move on my part, huh? Oh. Well, I'm glad to see my traps work. Ow. Um, hmm. Eat parry, bitch! Alright. All right, all right. Just one more hit, one more hit. Yes. Yes. That's the first time I killed a Wendigo without having the cheese. Ah, oh, that wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Bandit camp key. Another small sapphire, some stones. That was great. That, that was good. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Thanks for the tip, chat. Let's see, what else can we loot out of this, out of the bandit camp? Um, okay, okay, fine. <laughs> I did have to, I did have to cut like half of its health out with the traps. <laughs> um, what I did before was not use traps. I just pelt, kept pelting with arrows until it was dead. And that was before I had any of the uh, ranger skills too. And now I am trapless. So it's not all bad. It balances out, right? Now I won't be able to use those traps on, like, any ethereal ghosts or anything like that. Uh, don't worry. Eventually I'll be able to fight the Wendigo mano to mano without having to bullshit the game. Until then, ornate chest. A steel shield... The hell's Hackmanite? Presman and Levant can create wizardly ropes from this material. Half plate boots, bolt varnish, obsidian pistol. Maybe when I eventually start using pistols in this game, I'll just craft my first pistol instead of having to buy one from Levant for several hundred gold. Hey, Senpai. So the sensei told me May the Fourth be with me, but I'm sad because you're not May Fourth. Aww. 
cute. Open. Oh, hey, there's a corpse here. Half a corpse. This is a bandit prison. Oh, wow. Um. Hmm. All right, T then. They weren't kidding. This is definitely a prison. Wendigos are weak to parry, so when you landed that one perfectly, it was all over for the for the bastard. <laughs> uh, so you're saying I didn't even need the traps, probably. Spiritual. Hey, I can make spiritual varnish now. Good, good. I need spiritual varnish. Something tells me I'm gonna have a heart. I will have to make two trips to heading back to town to sell all this garbage. After all, bag is overweight. All right. Well, a good time was had by all. Am I right? Exit the Chersonese. You just need to pick and choose the proper garbage to keep. Ah, eh, fair enough. I'm one of those people that likes to just tra has a bad has a bad habit of just dragging everything home. You know, Elder Scroll Syndrome, basically. <laughs> um, but I do have a camp up, stay up there, so I could just go up there, cook everything, dump what I don't need, tear apart the stuff for scrap metal. Ah, Termopottage. I love taking all the loot too, but honestly, are they even worth it a lot of time? Though every now and again, it's time to roll all the way home. Good point. <laughs> uh, I'm going to collect those Predator Bones to see if I can make Bone Soup, like someone suggested earlier. Assuming they weren't memeing. Miner's Omelets. That battle, cleaning the hell out of this banning camp made me famish. Let's have some food. Shall we? How are you doing, senpai? <laughs> Alright. I'm going to dump some stuff here in the pockets. How much room do I have? I have a uh, 3.5 room, so let's... I actually don't even need the mining picks. Or the fishing harpoon for that matter. You can get those for free back home. But I'm definitely going to sell the shield and the brutal axe. And the half plate boots. And some of these ingredients I don't need. I probably should store, stop selling my occult remains though. And I got not a, enough ammo light as well, so I don't really need that. I have not decided on whether or not to go wizardy yet, so I don't really need this right now. I probably need to keep some of these gems to open some dungeons. But let me check just to make sure that I've looted the shit out of this place already. <laughs> oh, lo and behold, a junk pile full of food and padded armor. Bring that home and I'll sell that too. Since I turned my padded armor into this beautiful set of thick-ass amylite, I don't really need them anymore. I'm not going to steal the cooking pot right now, though. No need to. I think that's the last of the bandits, isn't it? Because all I really have left is going, making my way through the ghost fort to get to the Cabal of the Wind Tower. So I can visit the ancient ruins and visit that place. 
So yeah, I think I've pretty much... Actually, I've never been here. I think I've been here before, but then I left because I didn't know what to do. But the electric dungeon is over here. Lantern's almost dead. Hmm. Do you need that? Alright. I'm gonna head back home really quick. We got eight minutes actually of um, stream time left, so it is kind of time to skedaddle after all. Let me pack up and let's rush back to. There is a chest over there that I missed. Ah, fuck! God damn it! <laughs> I've not been hit by a freak. I've never. I have not fall stepped on a trap in so long. I forgot those were a thing. <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe that happened. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Alright, what's in here? What's in here? Ooh, shiny. I can't move. Alright. It is a good axe. I've sold one just like it before. Sold about two of these, in fact. Um, I need to dump more shit. I need to... Because I'm going to sell all these things. But... Uh, fine. Ah! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Did I just... It happened twice in a row. Fuck me. Oh my god, this game. I love this game so much. Now, it doesn't matter if there's still stuff here because I literally cannot carry any more junk. I'll need to come back. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. <laughs> Truer words, unfortunately, have never been spoken. At least for today's stream. Alright. Time to pack up, boys. I have a bad feeling that if I try to take this pot with me, I won't be able to walk. So much loot, but I really need to get back home. It's 12 in the afternoon, too. We're making great time. I'm going to do what's called a pro gamer move. I'm going to leave my tent and my pot and my uh, campfire here. Desperate times. But at least I know where this is. It's literally this bandit camp. Now, as long as I don't get lost, I should be able to make it back to the city of Shirozo without too much trouble. But I have a bad track record for not getting lost in this game, don't I? Let's see. This is west. There's the bridge, so I should be able to go here. Go up north. Okay. Alright. Let's do it. Resist the urge to murder the bird. Oh, bandits. I hope they're not returning home to the bandit camp because there's no one to return home to right now. Yeah, that's right. You better dodge, asshole. Not that it matters. Did you just try to stab me? You did just try to stab me. It did not do anything. It had... It was not very effective. 
That's true. And I forgot that I had a mask. Thank you for reminding me. I will need... Wait, I'm wearing the mask. <laughs> the only reason I kill the birds nowadays is just to collect their delicious, delicious bird meat. Bird meat, as it were. Have I been using heavy attacks? Uh, no, I have. Oh, my fucking God. I completely forgot that that was a thing <laughs> until you mentioned it. <laughs> Playing this whole game without using any heavy attacks whatsoever. <laughs> oh my fucking. <laughs> Am I gonna get lost again? <laughs> no, no, I've, I've never, I have not been using heavy attacks this whole game. <laughs> All right, I'll try it the next time I find a victim to smash. Who's to find a victim to smash? Oh my god, <laughs> that's embarrassing though. I've yeah, I, I've not been using heavy attacks this whole game. <laughs> it doesn't use that much uh, more stamina than regular. Or it uses the same amount of stamina as regular attacks too. What the fuck? All right. Uh, is this the bird I killed earlier? It is. Fuck, this game is beautiful. Me too. Me too. I don't know why I decided to not go to, to why I've been avoiding going to the mountain to become a mage. I just, I don't know, me. Usually I play really roguish characters or bard characters or uh, heal slots, clerics and the like. This is the first time I just played, this is one of the rare times I just play a pure melee and armor build. So I've not been inside there yet. Bro, take it from me who has no bias at all. Be a mage. Hmm. I will strongly consider it. Besides, I kept joking in my um. I kept joking in the stream about how I'm going to be. A, I'm how I decide I'm going to be a Jedi in this game. And what is a Jedi without magic powers? Am I right? It really is. It's a very the magic system in this game is among the most unique I've seen in any action RPG. Seth really undersold it. You know what? So I actually avoided this game at first, even though I watched, rewatched, and rewatched Seth's review of the game. What eventually got me to uh, convince me to get was actually listening to the uh, credit scene, which was playing the Tristanese uh, environment music. And I was like, you know what? A game that has music this good can't possibly be bad, right? And sure enough, this game is amazing, honestly. Yeah, no shit. I could listen to this soundtrack forever. Or just on repeat. For a while. You know, funny story. When I first started this game, not only did I get kicked, become bait, get rendered homeless because I got kicked out, but the reason I got homeless is because I actually was caught killed and caught by the same by the same bandits like four times in a row so like a month passed and when i came back finally got back to town limp back to town that's when they were like yeah um, you're homeless now 
And I was thinking, this was like the second time I streamed the game. So, or was it first? No, this is the first time I streamed the game. I was thinking about restarting my run since I already fucked up, right? And one of my followers was like, you know what? Why don't you try uh, picking yourself back up from this? I think that would be very, make an interesting uh, stream. So I was like, you know, you have a good idea, good point. Now, several hours later, and like literally two months later, here I am, just casually murdering pearl birds and loot and bullying bandits. And I'm still having the time of my life. Now, to be fair, the game has plenty of things to keep it from being frustrating, but I think I think it's a good thing that they had them in there. And considering how difficult this game can be anyway, good on them. Back home to Serzo. If there's any uh, French-speaking people in the chat, I apologize for completely butchering the shit out of all the names in this game. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, one second, chat. I'll be right there. And that, with that, I must go. My people need me. Let me just go ahead and make bank on these weapons. We'll clean up and then we'll get to ending the stream proper. There's a lot what of new faces in the chat you? today. Once all again, right. I asked this question to all of my follow to all of my uh, new viewers. Um, I would like to once again thank. Uh, let's scroll back up here really quick. Campfire Mage and Breaking Face for coming to today, today's stream. I have to ask, how did you find my stream? Did you find it through Twitch? Find it through Twitter? Did you guys lurk in some previous streams? Just didn't see anything up until now? I'm really curious. Hey there. Oh, I see. I like that there's a lot of people that are actually finding my stream purely through Twitch. People used to tell horror stories about how it's impossible to go on Twitch, and I can believe that, but I think it's easier to find people when you search up games and search up streamers. So I appreciate that. I'm glad that you stuck around too. I kind of hope that you're enjoying your time here. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't yet, I would what really I appreciate a follow. Uh, like I said, I do stream outward every Wednesday until I complete the game, which is probably not going to be for a while, I imagine. I usually stream from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's going to be, it's actually 8 p.m. right now. And I usually stream for around three hours, although sometimes I will uh, forget what time it is because I'm having too much fun, and I'll stream for anywhere from three to four, anywhere from three to four hours. And with that, let me just go ahead and head back home really quick. <laughs> I really like this sword, man. And I will make sure to make use of the heavy attack from now on, since I've been reminded that that is a thing. The game probably told me that it was a thing at some point and I just totally forgot or something. Do <laughs> All right, let's go to bed. It's kind of weird running around with a backpack on my back without anything else, but you know what? All right. Hmm. <laughs> 
Let's also see who's streaming tonight. Who am I going to send you to y'all to? Who are we going to raid? Mm -hmm. do, do, do. Let's go ahead and go to quit game. Who is on tonight that I can send y'all to? Sadly, I'm the only other VTuber I know who plays Outward, but I wouldn't be surprised if there were others that do. True Baku Red's playing God Eater 3. That's also an action RPG, isn't it? That's not the same brand, I guess, as Outward, so I wouldn't... There's also Xylan Scissors, who's playing Don't Starve Together, which is another uh, Tough as Balls survival game. Someone earlier in chat made the joke that Outward is a kind of Minecraft, so I could send you all to Ren Banka, who's playing Minecraft. Don Musa is playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. I don't recognize some of these games, actually. So, Ichiban's playing Strive. Recoil is just chatting. Lost in Random, just chatting. Mega Man 4. Now that's a mood. Uh, Elden Ring. Yeah, everyone plays Elden Ring anyway. Tear down Dungeons and Dragons. No shit. Huh. I guess we are raiding Val tonight. Validity is playing Dungeons and Dragons. That should be a good segue, I think. Shit. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, fuck. It's been so long since an anvil's been dropped in my head. If you didn't want me to send you to a D&D &D stream, you just had to say, ask nicely. God. Ow, 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 ow. Thank you for the redeem. <laughs> as for our raid message, feel free to, if you're a subscriber, you can use any of my emotes for this. Otherwise, um, you can use the emote of your choice. We usually use... Lulz Raid for our raid message. Once again, thank you all for joining today's stream. I appreciate you, appreciate each and every one of you. Usually on Fridays we play VR games. However, I did join up on another fighting game tournament for with, with the VTuber community. This Friday I am playing Tekken Seven. I would. Greatly appreciate if all of you decide to stop by and cheer me on as I get my ass handed to me by people who, who play Tekken 7 for a living. But what can I say? It is in my blood to t play Tekken 7 for reasons that will be revealed eventually. In the meanwhile, thank you everyone for stopping by. Let's go ahead and drop in on Val. Let me check to make sure that they are still playing though. Uh, do -do. They are still playing. Sonic, welcome to the stream. I am afraid that we are actually j about to raid. But like I said, I do stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And also Saturday mornings, but not this Saturday because I have familial obligations to get to. But we will be back again Friday. And we will play Outer again next Wednesday at 5 p.m. to... Yeah. Shot back with a strong blast and did five damage to you. Whoa, close time raiding. Hello. Welcome in, raiders. 